Acts chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regards of people here for a bit. Just a quick little lesson. Every time you turn around, you got Jake's, you know what I'm saying? Calling on Yahweh, calling on Yah. Um, Yeshua, Jehovah, Jah, those names have never saved us. Don't As as much as Jake's been calling on those names, they, you know, God and Christ is blessed. As long as Jake's been calling on those names, if those were the true proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, don't you think we would be delivered by now? Hundreds of years calling on these false names. There's no salvation in any other. There's none other name under heaven that we can call on to be saved except for Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and, that, and that's through faith. That's our faith. And those names is what's bringing this kingdom down. Not Yah. Yah ain't bringing nothing down. Yahweh ain't bringing nothing down. Yahshua ain't bringing nothing down. Jehovah ain't bringing nothing down. And my phone just chimed in. God and Christ blessed ain't bringing nothing down. The proper names in the Hebrew tongue, that's what's bringing America down. That's what's bringing this wicked system down. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, he is, he exists. Yahweh Shai, he saves, he delivers. You see, and there's no salvation in any other name. Just, just woke up like, yo, the Lord like, yo, let him know. Bring out the scriptures. Bring out the scriptures. The, this name right here is a strong tower. The right is running to it, and it's safe. Yeah, you're not going to be safe calling on those false names, man. Those false, you know, believing in those false ideologies and all that other nonsense. First thing you think about, you know what I'm saying? Because these names come with an image. All these different names. You type in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, what pops up? Men of color. Now, we don't bow down to those images, but it's pretty much just giving a description of what the scriptures describe our Lord as in the Heavenly Father. You see? He said no graven images. He said that we're not bowing down to these pictures that we put up on, the, on our videos. Everybody has a mug shot. And the thing about it, when they was putting up the, um, the image or the depiction, you know what I'm saying, of the, of the Lord being a so-called white man, you you Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, you didn't never say nothing about that. You didn't never say it's a graven image. You didn't never say nothing to the world. It's a graven image. But then all of a sudden, the true image of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? The true depiction of what he looks like. Now, we're not saying that's him, but that's what the scripture describes him as. As a, as a dark-skinned man, a man of color, woolly hair, fiery eyes, skin of bronze, burnt bronze, and that. It's a grave image. Grave image. Shut the hell up, man. You want to sp uh, sp pop in that graven image um, nonsense when the, when the so-called white man put up his image? His the face of, saying, of the Heavenly Father's Son, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, the angels, the men of the Lord, the women of the Lord. They have nothing to say. So just shut the hell up. Don't say nothing now. You, you fake Bible scholars. But back to the point, we, we ain't calling on no other name no more. The Lord has put his spirit on us, has given us the gift of faith to believe in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's get it again. This is so quick, too, because I'm about to head out. These names is what's particular. We, we feel it, man. These names right here has given us life. We, we live again. You see, we're starting to live again through those names, through this word. Once again, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there, neither is there salvation, meaning deliverance, in any other. That's why we're still here. Call on God and Christ's blessing. We still here. Ain't went nowhere. Call on Yah. Still here. Ain't went nowhere. Yahweh. And for all you Hebrew Israelites out there, there's no E's, no U's, no V's, no J's in Hebrew. You should know that by now. Still coming on the comment board telling us on Yahweh, Yahweh. Shut the hell up, man. Just shut up. Ain't, Yah just mean he. 
All right. So that's not the heavenly father's name. It ain't no John because there ain't no J's in the Hebrew. The J just came into play. What was it? 15, 22, 15, 23. So those names ain't never worked out for us. And then we didn't find out the true names through the spirit, through the Holy Spirit, through the Rakakwa Dash. You got Hebrew Israelites. Oh, 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 we, we messed up. When we was breaking down the name years ago. We, we messed up. That, that truly ain't it. Stop it, man. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now, if you don't want to get saved, then you keep calling on Yahweh. You keep calling on Yahshua. You keep calling on Jah and all this other nonsense. You keep calling on God and Christ bless. And, and, and the Lord will leave you here. Look, the Lord will leave you here. The, the majority of our people, they're going to get left here anyway in Babylon. You see? And this, this lesson right here is only for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. You got to continue to harp upon the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Two separate entities. They think a lot, but they're not the same. The Heavenly Father didn't send Himself down here. He sent His only begotten Son. But, but you think how, how you want to think. This is... um. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. 18, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name, you see how important that is? The name of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Look, re remember Israel, I don't know if you got the message. I don't know if you got the memo. No name, no salvation. We, we just read that in the book of Acts. No name, no salvation. Just remember that. Uh, uh, the Lord's name is Yahweh. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. But then you you want to shorten it. You, you know what I'm saying? This ain't your homeboy. This ain't your cousin around the corner. You can just give a nickname to. This is the creator of the heaven and the earth and us. The name of the Lord Yahweh. Just look it up. The name of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. All hell breaking loose and our people still playing around. Uh, so, look, look. Uh, and the Israelites to come on my comment board talking about some Yah, Yahweh, and all this other nonsense, I'm going to block you. Just tired of saying that nonsense. And every time, uh, and, and we know they're going to keep coming, keep coming. But look, every time they come, I'm going to block you through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shot. If you're not coming, look, look, look. Can two walk, to, walk together unless they be agreed? You believe in another God, Joe. So, so don't come on my page, all right? Proverbs 18 to 10, the name. It's all about that name. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe, man. So this is that safe haven. This is that place of refuge. And it's high time to wake out of sleep. Let's just get that right quick. Just flow into the spirit right quick. Just, just woke up. You just wake up pissed, man. You got Israelites still calling on those false gods. And, and, and some of them know better. You walking down the street, your name's Steve, but you got somebody behind you. Someone's like, hey, Bob, hey, Bob, hey, Bob. Is you going to turn around? Is you going to turn around? Because your name is Steve and somebody back there calling on Bob, so they must not be talking about me. They must not be trying to get my attention. Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13. Verse 11, and it reads, And that, knowing the time, that, that that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And through those names, we're going to gain, Lord willing, if we're part of that hopeful elect number, we're going to gain access to salvation through those names. Once again, no name, no salvation, all right? No name, no salvation. Let's uh, Let's see. See what that's all because this is like I said before, this is so quick. This is so quick. This is um Psalms. Let's go to Psalms right quick. Let's just, let's just get this right quick. It ain't, ain't gonna be that long. Psalms chapter 124. Just like when the Lord no saying called Moses, no saying first thing Moses said, no saying, look, 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 what's your name? They're going to they gonna want to know your name. What name do I tell your people that I'm coming in? So, it's, so the name always been important. 
And, and watch out for those Israelite groups that's telling you that you can call the, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son anything. Why? Look, run, run from them. Look, look, Israel, one more time. Run from them. Psalm chapter 124, verse um, 8. And, and look, and this is the message is deadly serious. You know what I'm saying? You see? No name, no salvation. This thing is deadly serious. All hell breaking loose. And you still can't get the name right, but the Lord did say his name is dreadful to the heathens. So two-thirds of our people can say the heathens right about now. So, so the Lord don't want them to say those, those precious proper names in the Hebrew tongue. The Lord don't want you to say it. If you still call on Yahweh, you still call on Yah and Yahshua, Jehovah and all that, you look, you're considered a heathen. Just know that. And, 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 and I'm going to get that scripture too, Lord's willing. Psalm chapter 124, verse 8. Our help, the whole elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Our help is in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And don't let these other Israelite groups discourage you on calling on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They got a problem with us calling on the name of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son in the same sentence. Uh, look, look, are, you, are you serious? That, that lets you know right there that something's actually wrong with that person. If someone gets offended at you calling on the name of Yahweh, at least 100 people delete it out the fire, rips through wedding hall. You see that? Here it is. I'm going to do it in the news. I'm going to do it in the news. See, see look, I, I bet you their God, they're, why didn't that God save them? At least I'm looking at the news now. I'm going to news. And look, so when I get to work, Lord, one, I'm going to do it in the news. At least 100 people. The Lord deleting MFs, man. At least a hundred people deleted after fire ripped through a wedding hall, man. And I'm looking at the news right now. It's true. Lord, what am I bringing out? And it is a hundred people, man. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord uh, calling back spirits too. You see? Psalm chapter 124, verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. You see, let's get something else. We're going to stay in Psalms. Like I said before, this is so quick, man. Just woke up, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, uh, these people are pissing their Lord off. Israel, you Israelites out there, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're really pissing the Lord off, man. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, but you call him on God and Christ is blessed. They, they don't hear you. And the phone chimed in, you call him on, yeah, my phone going off. They don't hear you, man. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahshua. They don't hear you, all right? And look, and you're going to find that out the hard way when you when you get caught up in a sticky situation, a real sticky situation, right? Psalm chapter 18, verse 2. The Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai is my rock and my fortress. For, for, for you um, uh, Old Testament only Israelites, the Heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, down here. Yahweh Shai shed His blood. You see, our Savior shed His blood. So, so if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you have no Savior. All right. You tell me, so um, you going to the Heavenly Father? The Heavenly Father don't hear you, and He don't see you. You see. He's too pure to look upon iniquity. We're in this sinful flesh. You think you can go to the Heavenly Father in this sinful flesh. You see? And he hear you. That's why he said this only begotten son, Yahweh Shai down. You see? The Heavenly Father sees us through the eyes of his son. And, that, and that's scriptural. All right? And that's scriptural. Once again, Psalms 18th chapter, verse 2, the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And we, 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 we know you steaming, man. We, we bringing out those names, those proper names in the Hebrew tongue. We know you steaming, man. All right? You know, oh, oh, well. And my fortress. Look, look. And my deliverer. You see that? No name, no deliverance. My power, my strength, in whom I would trust, my buckler. And the horn of my salvation and my high tower. And if you give your family members that name, you break down the name to them and they can't get it. No, say, just move on, man. Just move on. Let, let them deal with it. No, say, you see, because everybody ain't going to believe in these proper names in the Hebrew tongue. The Heavenly Father ain't putting his spirit on every Israelite to believe in the names. You see, it just, it just is what it is. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to believe in the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Lord willing, we part of that hopeful number. And it reads, look, look, I will call upon the Lord Yahweh, 
through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who is worthy to be praised, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Once again, no name, no salvation. Look, our enemy is getting ready to come in like a flood. Our, our enemies want us deleted. You see, Sleazy E, don't say Esau Edom, they want us deleted, man. No name, no salvation. That's what, that's what I might call this video. No name, no salvation, man. You see? Look, so shall I be saved from my enemies. The name of the Lord has, has brung down kingdoms. You see? We're not, we're not going to be saved using no damn weapon. We're going to be saved through those names. We just read it. Just read it. Let's see, let's see what else I got before I go. Because I'm about to roll out, man. I'm about, let's, go to, let's go back to Acts. Go back to Acts right quick. This ain't gonna be that long. Two more scriptures, and I, and I got I got the roll anyway. Lord, willing to go get this daily bread. Let the Lord protect her. Go go to go to work. Do the arm of any news. You know Acts chapter two. I bet you those people at that wedding hall, those hundred people that just got deleted at that wedding hall. I bet I bet you they knew. I bet you they wish they knew the proper name uh, in the Hebrew tongue of the heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And look, calling on Buddha, calling on Allah, calling on Satan Maria, calling on the Hindu goddess Shiva, calling on um y'all the Kemet god, the Egyptian god, and y'all look stupid as hell too. All, all you Kemet guys, look, look, you you so called Egyptians, even the Dudu eating Africans don't believe believe in that Kemet nonsense, man. Y'all the only ones over here in Babylon, aka America, looking bugged the hell out, walking around with big ass unks, looking through. You look you look a hot mess too, man. All right. You women and you men. All right. And, and the Israelite women that are into that nonsense, they the biggest H to the Izos and that that is spreading the most damn diseases. That damn unconscious nonsense. Y'all, y'all look through. You look real dark, man. Acts chapter two. Let's just get this, Acts chapter 2, and the Lord wanted me to say it, so I said it. Acts chapter 2, verse 21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever, that whosoever is talking about the Israelites, that whosoever shall call on the name, there go again, the name, the name, the name, the name of the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, because remember, Lord Yahweh Shai said, I'm the door. Matter of fact, let's just get it right quick. I'm pressed for time, but I must be allowed to get it, and I'm going to come right back. Let's just get this right quick. For all you Israelites, tell me you're going to go to the Heavenly Father. What is it? Um, let's see. 14. I hear military vehicles flying over the crib now. It's, it's get ready to go down, Israel. When the military troops come in and kick that door off the damn hinges. Yeah, I said damn again. Don't watch the video. If you don't want to hear damn, you don't want to hear F-bomb every now and then. They will repeatedly use a rude speech. But when it come out, it come out. If you don't want to hear it, then leave. Don't watch the video because I'm hearing military troops, you know what I'm saying, um, vehicles, the uh, fighter jets flying past the crib, the Apache helicopters going past the crib now. When, when the Gurgle troops come in to kick down your door or those tanks come down your street or they make it mandatory that you take that sea hip, look, look, call on Yahweh. Call on God of Christ, bless. All, all that other nonsense, call on Yahweh, Yahshua, call on whatever you want to call on. You see? This is St. John chapter 14. I just want to get this point right quick. St. John chapter 14, verse 6, and it reads, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call Jesus, said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, come, what, what, what part of no man don't you understand? What part of no man don't you understand? No man coming, no man coming unto the Father but by me. So the Heavenly Father ain't hearing no man, all right? No man. You, 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 you didn't hear that though, right? No man coming unto the Father but by me. All right, so let's go back. Let's go right on back. Let's go right on back. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And, and, and I hope that was plain. That was plain. There ain't no hope in it. That was just plain. All right? No man on the earth is going straight to the Heavenly Father. So for all you Old Testament Israelites, shut it down. Shut it down. But, but oh yeah, you don't believe in the New Testament anyway, so you're not going to, when I read a scripture like that, you're going to say, nah, 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 nah. come on, man. Be, be some of the first ones to get burnt in that fire, man. 
And, and, and in that day, when, when, when things really pop off, you see, you, you're going to call on those things, but the Lord's going to ignore you. You should have called on them early. The Lord said, those that seek me early shall find me. Let's get it again. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And that shall come to pass. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Ye men of Israel, let you know it's talking about the Israelites. The Israelites are the only ones, no, saying, no matter what you look like, if your um, bloodline goes back to the, um, our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if you're part of the elect, because you got to be part of the elect, no, saying, to get delivered anyway, that's who the Lord is coming back. You can get, um, you get St. Luke chapter. Um, the 18th chapter. I, 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 I got to get it because Israel ain't going to get Israelites. They're not, they're not going to get it. I'm going to come back right back. Lord's willing. The Israel, we, we throw out scriptures out, out there. Israel ain't going to get it. We, we look, we're going we to have to get it. This is uh, St. Luke chapter eight, 18 verse. Uh, let's see. Or is it um, this, this one too. Let's see. Well, I, I, I get this first, then I get another one. This is um, Luke chapter 18, verse 7, and it reads, And shall not read let the Lord Yahweh shall speak who they really call Jesus, and shall not the Most High Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh shall avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Who is he going to avenge speedily? The elect. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh, shall come, shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah, he's going to find faith on the earth. Because the Lord is going to keep that faith in the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, when are we part of that number? And I want to get this too. Just proving what I said. This is um, St. Matthew 24. Let's just get this right quick. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30, and it reads, and then we'll read loud again, Lord Yahweh shall speak in who you eagerly call Jesus, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh shall in heaven, coming through with the chariots, right? And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. But I thought this was a beautiful day. I thought this was a day that everybody wants to see, right? And they shall see the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh shall come in, in the clouds, in the chariots, the spaceships, the so-called UFOs of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. It don't get no plain of that. The Lord is coming together, the elect of the nation of Israel. From four, from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other, because Israel has been scattered. So let's go right back. Let's go right back. Went full circle. So let's go right back. Acts chapter 2. And I got I to gotta get rid of the road. Acts chapter 2. I'm just going into how important the name is. Acts chapter 2, verse 21 again. And it shall come to pass that whosoever, that whosoever is talking about the Israelites. You see? That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, all right? Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High Yahweh did by him, by him, in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So, so, so what else, Lord, before I roll out? What else should I roll out? Uh, let's get Jeremiah. Because I, I mentioned the name of the Lord is dreadful to the heathens, right? So two thirds of our people they consider heathens right about now. This is uh Jeremiah. Let's just get this right quick because I got the road. Jeremiah's way went longer than I thought it was gonna go, but I don't run that. Jeremiah chapter three. I'm just thankful that I'm able to still call on the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Every day I wake up, the water you have, but your mouth shot that you still allow me to call on these proper names in the Hebrew tongue. The water, the water, the water. You see, this is most dead. This is that strong tower. You see, I have someone to run to. I have someone to run to. You see. Just like say, like you know, what I'm saying a, a group of guys, you know what I'm saying, uh, messing with you. That's saying, don't you know say they hitting on you, punching on you, got you on the ground. Then that's saying, you know, uh, you you calling on your brother. That's saying, you no, know, your brother just come out of nowhere. You see, and, and deliver you and beat everybody ass and deliver you from that mob of guys. Yo, that's the, that's what Lord Yahweh Shai is to us, man. A big brother's coming. Our Lord and Savior is coming. But I want to get this Jeremiah chapter three, verse um. You see, pretty much, it's going into Israel. You see? Uh, uh, shit. I started 21. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplication of the children of Israel. See, letting you know, talking about the children of Israel, right? For they have perverted their way 
and have forgotten the Lord, their power. They forgot your Howard through his only begotten son, your Howard shall return. Ye backsliding children, let me let you know what's talking about Israel, and I will heal your backsliding. Behold, we come unto thee. For thou art the Lord, our power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Truly in vain is salvation and hope from the hills, meaning from these different nations, right? And from the multitude of the mountains. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, Shai, our power is salvation. Look, look, is the salvation of Israel. See? So salvation is for who? For Israel. The name is dreadful to the heathens. The, the, their hope is in vain. These heathen ain't getting no salvation by calling on Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, but the, but the elect of the nation of Israel can. You see? And I can I can keep going on, going on. I can get um Proverbs 18 to 7 and many, many other scriptures, man, but, but it's high time to awake out of sleep. You see the names on the screen, call on them. Use them, Israel. It's not Yahweh, it's not Yahshua, it's not Yah, it's not Jehovah. And none of that nonsense. Look, look, Israel, no name, no salvation. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, next double honor to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere, I can just keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God so people here for a bear. No name, no salvation. Shalom.